Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to backup and restore your WordPress website inside of Plesk using the WordPress toolkit. So the first thing we need to do is log into our Plesk control panel. And the domain name I'm going to be backing up or the WordPress website I'm going to be backing up is the rootpildemo.com. I'm going to open up the website and you can see it right here. So I'm going to log in and just make a really quick change to my WordPress website. So to easily do this, you can just go to WordPress, open up, and now we're in WordPress toolkit. I'm going to click login. It should automatically log me in. Go to visit site. And we're going to change something. But first, we're going to back up the WordPress website. So go back to WordPress toolkit, click backup and restore and click backup. So what this will do, it will back up um, your files and your database to the WordPress backups folder inside your home directory. So this does take up server space uh, on your website or on your hosting plan. Um, but if you're using RootPal, we back up all our site, all your WordPress websites and everything off-site, uh, so we can restore it off-site. But you know, it takes a couple hours. Um, but this is a quick way to create a backup before you do anything. Maybe you're making some massive changes to the site. Maybe you're updating the site. It's always good to take a backup because this is the quickest way to back up and restore it very easily without using the Plesk backup manager. So this is different. This is directly tailored to the Plesk uh, WordPress toolkit. So it's just for your WordPress websites. This does not work with um, other CMS solutions such as Drupal or Joomla. So this is just strictly WordPress. So now that we have our backup, we can click backup and I'm gonna make a little quick change Change it to test, click update. See our changes right here. And now we're going to restore our website. So right here, you can download your WordPress files. And if we download them, it'll take you to the folder of where uh, the zip file exists. So now you can see my backups are in the WordPress backups folder right here. And I can just download it by clicking download right here. If we open that file, uh, that zip file, you'll see the files are, the WordPress files are all in this thing called files and the SQL dump, which is the database is right here. So it's pretty simple. I mean, it just has it all in one little zip file. It's perfect, but great thing is the restoring because you don't have to do anything. So let's go back to backup and restore. I'm going to click restore. It's going to say it's going to, uh, you know, restore over whatever you have. Yes, I do want to restore it. And so this should turn back to root pal live. If everything worked, if you have a big website, it's going to take some time. So make sure uh, you can view like 57 megabytes. You see it took 15 seconds. If you have a site that's a gig or five gigs or whatever, it's going to take, you know, maybe up to 20, 30 minutes or up to an hour. Sometimes it just depends how big your, uh, WordPress website is. If it has a lot of files, if it's a big database, it just depends, but this is the quickest way to do it. Um, so let's go. Refresh this page and it should say root pal live. And there you go. It shows root pal live. So we restored everything. So let's do something a little bit more intense just to show you that this is, you know, this is a good tool to use for backups. So let's say you go here and you get hacked and your site gets destroyed and you go to your dashboard 
and there we go. So we have all these errors. Maybe it says something really crazy. My site's all broke. Don't have to worry about it because we can go to here, click restore. And your site probably won't be 57 megabytes. It'll probably be an average WordPress website's around 300 to 500 megabits, megabytes, sorry. Um, and you know, up to one gig. If your site's over a gig, then you have a lot of data on it and it'll probably take a little bit longer to back up, but no, probably not more than 30 minutes. Now let's refresh the page and there you go. Good as new, just like nothing ever happened. So. That's how you back up and restore your WordPress website using the Plesk uh, WordPress Toolkit. Thank you.